Assessing Fall Potential It's important to plan in advance and constantly evaluate the potential consequences of a fall, not just for the leader, but also for the follower. If the leader falls, he travels twice the distance from the last point of protection, plus the dynamic elongation of the rope, plus the slack in the system. Here, if he falls just before clipping, he'll hit the ground. Here, he may decide not to place protection on the easy traverse, but if he falls, again, he might deck. In this situation, he won't meet the ground, but he'll take a major swing. He may cheese grate, hit something, or cut the rope swinging across a sharp edge. It's a good idea to protect the traverse. The leader places protection before a crux for his own safety, but he also needs to place pro after a crux for the follower's safety, since the follower is protected by the piece he'll remove next. Remember, even though you don't feel you need a piece, if there is swing potential, stop and place one for your partner. Assessing leader fall. For his own safety, the leader should think, what happens if I fall with the amount of rope out, slack, and stretch? How far will I go? Will I swing? Considering the above, will I hit anything? How much do I trust my last piece of protection, and how much farther do I go if it fails? Would I hit anything then? Protecting the follower. For the follower's safety, the leader should think, if my follower falls here, is there a bad swing? With rope stretch, if my follower falls here, will he hit anything? It's a good idea to give an extra tight belay when the follower is leaving the ground, or above a ledge or other hazard.